take to clear this uh, one billion billion for that? Um, uh, thinking that more could... China at the moment is the biggest market for commodities. When we are talking about commodities, we are taking, talking about raw materials of whatever nature you mention, minerals or otherwise, or agricultural. It is a great consumer. So any slowdown will naturally affect the prices of these commodity markets or products into their market. But as a countermeasure, especially with respect to minerals, we are trying to uh, ramp up uh, volumes to make up for the loss of price. Everything is under control, I should say. But definitely, it will, not, it will not affect the Chinese investment in Zimbabwe. Actually, I think that gives uh, more opportunity uh, for the Chinese investors to try to uh, find new opportunities in Africa, in Zimbabwe. So uh, I'm, I'm sure that there will be more Chinese investors coming to this country. It's already been felt, I think, in terms of commodity prices, which have fallen quite sharply since uh, they peaked in 2011. Um, and I think we are also now going to see a slowdown in Chinese investment. Um, and so a lot of the grandiose plans, or some of the grandiose plans that have been uh, mentioned may, may not come to fruition or may take longer to come to fruition. It's a sign of that themselves they can manage their economy. So how can we invite those people to help us? If they have the ability to invest in Zimbabwe, let them invest so that we can have employment.